Hey guys, welcome back to Railroads Online. You know, you join me actually on Betsy. Now I'm currently just outside the sawmill, heading back uh, eventually to the ironworks. We have to go via the ore mine, the iron ore mine, because uh, that's the only route down at the moment. Eventually, yeah, eventually we'll be able to go straight across near the depot, the ore floors that way, and that will be a lot quicker. I think I'll take Bexy because, uh, well, this is uh, quite a long journey. Now, I want to take a screenshot here. This is where these points are, just to remind myself. There you go. Because that will be the points down through the uh, the freight depot and the oil fields that way from here. It was very fast here, doesn't it? Now, I don't want to show you too much of the route going down because we're going to do a dedicated sort of delivery uh, down to the ironworks uh, video. So, uh, I'm not going to show you too much of that. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to drive down there and I'll meet you there. We made it all the way down here, one piece. Good old Betsy. So, right. The first thing I'm, I'm thinking, actually, is that we need a water tower and... Uh, it's, yeah, it makes me think, really. We need a firewood depot. We'll put that down the other side. Reason being, I might actually try and put a, a, a bit of track the other side at some point. And I might as well put the water, water tower down. I was asking about the sand houses you know, the other day, someone. someone said, if you want to use the sand in the train, you should use the sand house. I said, where is it? And it's obviously there. Quite obviously there. Really should have just looked. Quite a bit of wood still, which I do need to fill her up. She is empty. Yep, no fuel. We're going to take it down to the other end, and what we're going to do then is um, we'll extend the track really all the way to the. I nearly said locking camp, all the way to the oil field. We are good to go. Oh, that's still saying zero fuel. Does that mean she used it already? It must have. It's weird, it's still saying zero. Eh? Uh, well, we're heading up that way. I've already changed the points. Well, we'll put one more light in. Quite weird. Oh, oh. Silly me. Right, this, this was maybe the easy bit. How many times have I said that? Well, I'm very happy we've got this track now. Now, how does it go over this? Worried that she's not showing any fuel. She must have. The fire must have used it straight away. Well, good news, she didn't do well. Bad news, there's no more rails. Is 
So fire temperature showing is zero as well. Just a glitch. Might be a glitch. Every time I go near that station, I find glitches. Right, okay. We are quite close to the oil, the oil field, so let's extend the track down a tiny bit. Because I want to run big engines down here, that would be my preference. I want to keep it very, very shallow. I wanted but hey ho so this is uh, the oil field we have uh, two platforms I hope the one's down here Taps on both sides here. Hmm, okay. That's our little problem here, the beams. We're facing the wrong way, really. So we're going to have to come out that way. I suppose we could edge up ever so. So heading to the sawmill. I'm not worried about that for now. What I'm going to do, I think, is just simply put a Y in, a triangle from the end here and connect to that track. And we have another output over that way. Um, for now, let's just try and get these, well, at the moment, two platforms. Should we, we might go for three. Most of this stuff is trial and error. Um, it's just back and forth, trying to make sure you visually line it up. Now what I generally did was use the mouse to go left and right and sort of line it up to something and then just use the arrow keys or the, the direction keys on the keyboard to go forward and back to then try and stay aligned, but then just, you know, fine tune it. Um, eventually we got there.
this point I'm looking at the tower on the left, which keeps flashing in and flashing out whenever it happens a lot actually here. So, so again, it's a t it's a little glitchy around this area. I'm pretty sure that goes out at an angle. Well, we're getting closer to finish this area. I think a, a water tower and uh, a firewood depot would be a good idea next. And that leads me to another idea. That trap we just pinned. How about we put it behind the firewood depot? Then we can actually feed it if we need to. I like the sign considering we're using steam engines. Just had a biscuit, that's nice. Now next bit, you know, need to connect that up where we were over there. But we also, map, that's it, yeah map. We need to go left more so we can hit the freight depot. I'm trying to decide whether I want to do that today. I don't think so. Reason being, not because I'm being lazy and I just don't want to do it. I don't want to cut the trees down. The moment I've got 2,700, and I think I'm going to spend those on some more wagons. So when I do the deliveries tonight off screen again, then I'm hopefully going to deliver more in shorter time and you get the idea. So I think I want to spend it on there rather than actually spend it on the... Uh, What's that one? Or is it not that one? Are we going to go right? So that's over there. Okay, so that's coming at an angle. No choice, I've got to do a bit long in here. Both of these got come down. Well, that, yeah, I suppose that does make sense. It should work. Well, we take that out for a second. We need to put a little bit of groundwork in. this one back it's been a nice gentle slope hopefully we done that I think we decided we're doing that aren't we All right, let's quick wheel down round to the corner then. I just remember we've got another track here, haven't we? To our right here somewhere. There. Or is that why I decided to put the points in? It's actually not a bad place to do it. Oh, there's Betsy. Hello, Betsy.
Now my worry here is that we ain't gonna be able to Yeah, that's not there's no point in putting that there. That's gonna be going straight, so we can get rid of that. Find out. I did mention in the last episode I wanted parallel tracks, but I suppose we could put parallel tracks in. That sets us completely off here, doesn't it? Well, this is a momentous occasion because we are going to be able to connect the oil field up in a second. And these final ones here, we are to drive Bessie straight into the oil field. And of course, we can't do it quite like that, can we? <laughs> if we won't. Come on, come on, come on. We'll get there, though. Ooh, that was bad. How managed to do that? How did I manage to do that? Oh, I think it's linking up. That's why. Don't load it link. Oh, it's still it's got the link thing on there. Or oh, I think we can do one. Maybe that's the solution to this. It was indeed. Alright, we've got one more bit of track here today. This is the output, isn't it? Do you go this way? Quick build this bit, then we're going to drive Bessie down to the oil field. So that's a good screenshot. But so basically, we're going to put another Y in around there and the one down there. So it's a triangle. Then we'll head through that pinch point between the two mountains. The track will then split, and initially we're going to the right and we we'll go to the depot. But later on, we'll build another route straight up to the sawmill via that extra bit of track that it's a switch which we put in before which is around the corner There we have it. It's all connected. There's the output. It goes both ways. Across what was this horrid junction which we built. It's quite difficult getting this right, this junction. Such so a seemingly simple thing. Oh crikey, yes. Um, let's fire bets here. Is 
So that's the beginning of our Y. There's the output track. Which way is the... Uh, that's good for us, that's good. And there is the oil fields. There we are though, it's, it is done. Today's work is done. We're getting so close to connecting everything now. Yeah, there's plenty of room. Right here. I'm very, very happy. This one's gone remarkably well when you compare it with the other one. I think because there's no trees here, it's so much easier to work out where everything is and where you can place everything. The trees are what does it. That's why, that's why they're so thick. They're, they're there to actually confuse you and actually disorientate you, really, aren't they? So uh, they do their job. But yeah, very good. That's it. going to be it for this one. It was another build episode, but it's something we need. But uh, yeah, we we have actually built things, and uh, essentially it's looking good. Well, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoy, please press the like button. If you want to see more, please subscribe and if you press that ding dong bell button, you know what it does. See you next time. Bye, z bye.